I've heard your cries from afar. Look at all these comments, alright? Today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer X particles color to X particle skinner or, or mesh them. It's not actually going to be the skinner. The asset that I'm using is a Houdini asset, uh, which you can use with the free version of Houdini ND, which allows you to use the pipeline tools. And the asset is also free, so you can go and download it in the, uh, or at the link in the description. I've only tested this with X particles 3.5, so if this is not available, or this, this feature isn't available in, in, in 4, try it out and uh, get back to me. For this setup, literally all you need is uh, an emitter and a cache, um, but I've thrown in a turbulence just so we get some interest and stuff. And it's, it's taking a display color, so what you see here is going to be projected onto mesh. You just go in your cache and change the particle format to BGO Houdini, so we can read it. And then I'm going to build the cache. Shouldn't take too long. I'm going to be opening up a new scene because sometimes it gets a bit janky if you've got the cache and stuff all in the same the same scene. So just open up a new scene and bring in your asset. Your, yours won't have a 5 on it, by the way. This is just before I package it up nicely. Right, so now that we've got that, you're going to need to go to the location of your cache. I've got it here. And go in here and then you want to copy this because Houdini for some reason doesn't have an option to let you, you know, open the file explorer and select it from there. So we're just going to do shift right click and copy as path. On Mac you're going to want to do command I and then you can copy the location of it. Paste it in here, it's going to be enclosed in some quotations. And delete both those quotes and then delete the uh, the digit at the end which is the frame number we're gonna need to replace this with dollar sign F 6 and what this is is this is how Houdini is gonna read that this is an image sequence so on whatever frame you're on it will select that that BGO from the sequence and since there's six digits in it that's why we have six here so now we should get something when we play simulate is pretty quick but this is pretty low res so um, just go to the end and uh, we'll see what it'll look like. Looks like looking nice. Uh, I'm just gonna up the, the value a little bit. I'm not gonna put it up too high, but you can see we've got some options in here like uh, dilate in our road. Those are pretty interesting uh, and you can play around with those. So I'm gonna change down the particle scale a little bit because right now it's looking like some sort of meta ball mesh. Um, and that's looking at our right. Um, you know, I don't want to mess around with it too much because you guys will get the idea. And the way you see the color is you go in here and then you select the vertex color. And there we go, we've got that. And you might be like, oh well, how am I going to see this in our render? That's a very good point. So in Octane, you're going to want to bring in an Octane material and then bring in a vertex map. Plug that into Diffuse and drag in your uh, Oh, this isn't working. I'll create one here then, I guess, and then bring in a vertex map, and then drag in your vertex color. And now when you apply that to your material, it will show up. I'm going to be doing this in Redshift as well. Um, I always find Redshift a bit more stable with these high mesh, high density meshes, so uh, I don't have a single screen layout for that, so there we go. Make a new, just standard material, and bring in the same thing, vertex map. This will be the same for most uh, render engines. I've not I've not checked Arnold, but I'm pretty sure they've got that as well. Uh, and then you can bring in your vertex color and drag that on. So now when we render this, it should show up. There we go. So simple as that. Uh, you just need to cache as BGO, bring it in, and then uh, create a material with vertex map on it. That's it. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, Leave a, a big fat like and also if you want to try this out on X-Particles 4, if you have any issues, just email the email in the description and I'll, I'll work out uh, getting it working on X-Particles 4. Again, I don't know if this is already a feature in the Skinner there, but yeah.